Lieutenant Colonel Greg Gadsden is 43 years old. He has a wife and two children, and for most of his 21 years in the military, he also had legs. Colonel Gadsden lost his legs in Iraq two years ago. Now his mission is entirely different. To master a new set of high-tech prosthetic legs, he says, are already changing his life. Greg Gadsden, like hundreds of his military colleagues, fell victim to a roadside bomb. Two years later, he's fighting an entirely different kind of battle, although he says moving from his old prosthetic legs to these computer-programmed, battery-operated legs is like the difference between driving a school bus and a sports car. He says they're as close to feeling like real legs as he can imagine possible. My expectations are that I can do whatever it is I used to do. It may be a little bit different. I have some, uh, I have some other considerations. And if, if I can do those things, then I think uh, you know, th that's success. The Power Knee 2 was developed by Iceland's Osua company. The knee runs on a rechargeable battery which powers the same kind of motor as that used in the Mars rover. A computer program instructs the knee to read muscle movement in Greg Gadsden's thigh and then, knowing his weight and the length of his foot, propel him forward at Gadsden's own pace. Osser's Hilmar Janusson says the knee is state-of-the-art. It senses what you're going to do. It has a framework that understands whether you're going upstairs, going faster or slower, and then relates that to the software and tells the knee what is your intent, what are you going to do. The learning process has not been entirely without challenges. There have been stumbles along the way, and Gadsden will need to hold on to his walking sticks for a while yet. The manufacturer hopes to have the Power Knee 2 on the civilian market later this year, although it'll cost about $70,000 per unit. As a veteran, Greg Gadsden won't have to worry about that. His family, friends and admirers agree he's already paid the price. Rob Muir, Reuters.